Are you looking for a printer? You can check out the Epson Echo Tank Professional ET5850. It's an all-in-one cartridge-free printer, and I'll go over some specifications later on in this video. So as you can see on screen, the price as of the time of this video creation, normally this printer costs $849.99, but you can save, well, you're not really saving money, but you're spending less money you could purchase this for $799.99 this comes directly from Epson.com official website again if you order from Epson you would not pay $50 but that price could fluctuate and it could obviously change into the future they have a mail-in rebate offer on ink and anything else let's not go over any more of the pricing now this looks like a laser printer the first time I viewed the photographs I assumed it was a laser it's actually a ink tank type printer it's an all-in-one I can show you some of these images so they have these ink tanks and there's a video you could watch it's the ET5850. It has two paper trays, but as you can notice, it looks like it's a laser printer, but it is not. It's technically an ink tank printer. You know what I'm saying? Here's another image. And it has the, it does have a universal serial bus port. It's got a power button. It looks like these are the indicators for the different ink tanks blue yellow pink whatever violet whatever okay is that all the photographs it does have a display I think it is a touch screen display it is a all-in-one it does have a scanner bed and I don't know if it's a fax machine too and here is an image of the ink ink tank that are I think they're fillable I think they are there's more images of the display. It's color, obviously, black and white and color printer. Now it does support wireless. I think it does support Bluetooth. A lot of images. Here's images of the two different separate paper trays that are in the front. Okay, I think that's at the beginning. it says that you can save up to 80 percent on ink with the replacement bottles so you don't actually have to replace these ink cartridges you actually what you do is you purchase bottles and then you you know fill up the cartridges when necessary with the ink that's in the bottle it says that the print speed is 25 pixels per or pixels per minute black color it is designed for high volume it has print shop quality it will print on paper up to eight and a half inches by 14 inches there are no cartridges low energy consumption but but you, what you do is you do fill the the ink with these bottles but I believe that you don't have to actually replace the cartridges I think it does come with replacement ink set that will allow you to print up to 7,500 pages black and up to 6,000 pages color. It is a 4-in-1 wireless. It does have Ethernet, so you could connect it to a hub or a switch or a router. It does have it does have fax capabilities, so you can print with it, you can copy with it, you can scan images with it and also you can fax so it's going to have an RJ11 port you would just need an RJ11 phone cable but it, it, you would also need an ethernet cable if you were to network it and that you could network it and then print to it from different computers also it has four Durabrite ink bottles the print speed is I think we already went on well black it's 25 pages per minute color it is 25 pages per minute also all right let's see what other details here well, 80 percent a lot of this is redundant 500 sheet paper capacity 
Uh, you don't have to replace the cartridges, so there is no cartridge waste. It does have hands-free voice-activated printing. It looks like probably they have a application that you can install on a smartphone. Yeah, it says right here. You can print from an Apple iPad, an Apple iPhone, and a Google Android tablet and smartphone. So what that means is that you would install this. I think it's Mopria. You would just install that application onto whichever device you're going to print from and then you would you know connect to it it does support Wi-Fi direct 6 so you you could literally print from your smartphone with this printer okay two-year limited warranty it supports WPA security it does does it I thought it might be Bluetooth I might be wrong about that it might just be standard wireless it might not actually support Bluetooth a lot of printers do support Bluetooth nowadays okay what's in the box if you were to order it you would receive the actual Epson echo tank professional ET 5850 it's an all-in-one printer you would receive a compact disk read-only memory disk for the setup a power cord two bottles of black ink and two bottles of cyan, magenta, and yellow. Now, really quickly, since I have an information technology background and I supported printers for decades, I wouldn't call my classify myself a printer expert, but, but I know quite a bit about printers. These are the model number of of bottles that you would purchase to replace the the number five forty two for black, and then the five forty two for cyan, magenta, yellow. You know what I'm saying? And but here's a tip you might want to just buy Epson only brand if you buy third-party bottles they, the ink may not work correctly or may not work as as well just to let you know okay okay let me see I have about a minute left there's a lot of images here I want to go to the the specification I'm not going to go through the product comparison there's other Epson printers that are similar, they're all echo tanks, but they don't all have the same, you know, specifications. Here, here is some specifications down here. This is redundant. The maximum print resolution is 4,800 pixels by a 2,400 pixel. And then the print speed, that is redundant. Now, it does, it does print two-sided. The two-sided print speed is a little bit slower. It is 21 pixels per minute. That's the eight-minute mark. Both black and color is 21 pixels per minute. Oh, what is this? The inklet drop size is the number three, as small as 3.8 in pickle liters. You want to have Durobright pigment ink. It supports cyan, magenta yellow and black you're gonna have four separate ink bottles and this is redundant here yeah Epson recommends the use of genuine ink yep so you might want to just purchase from Epson directly or it's up to you you know what I mean but it, it is possible that if there's third-party ink bottles it, it may not be as good now the operating systems are on screen it does support Apple Macintosh operating system 10.6.8 all the way up to 10.15.x. It does support micro crap, micro slop, wind blows, Vista 32. Now, all of these, I don't know why. Anyway, that, anyway, let's not go over that. But it supports Windows Vista still, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. It doesn't mention Windows 11. You might want to look into that. If you are interested in purchasing this and you're using micro Microslop wind blows 11 you might want to verify and see if it will indeed work now you know since I was derogatory towards Microsoft I will be derogatory towards Apple Mac and crap I refer to Apple's operating system as Mac and crap okay Linux you, you you'd have to look into that chances are you could poss possibly print in a Linux operating system but that's a whole nother separate video I never give out advice I never guarantee anything I never recommend anything now it does support Windows Server also from 2003 all the way to 2019 okay what else here uh, the sound level the dimensions the printing dimensions are on oh the weight is 39 pounds so that's kinda heavy 
Okay, I think that's it for this video. It, it's technically a, a ink tank printer, but it looks like a laser jet. You know what I'm saying? That is this video pertaining to the Epson Echo Tank Professional ET5850 all-in-one cartridge free printer. I went over some specifications. I want to go over one more thing. Now this is the the exact model number. If you ever need to look it up, you would want to look up this model number, the C11CJ29201. If you perform an internet search, you might find more details such as the uh, the specifications, the ink tanks that that you would the the bottles that you would order, you know, can you print in Linux, etc. ad nauseum management item. There is a telephone number that you could contact. The hours are on screen, so if you have any questions, you can contact that 800 telephone number. However, I am not responsible for any of any possible possible long distance charges. That's up to you. That's on you. That's why I never give out advice. I never guarantee anything. I never recommend anything. Adios.